What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to take a look at the 21st Century Toys 118 scale P47D Thunderbolt Razorback. So as you can already see, here's a nice shot of the front of the box. Really nice art on the side, although it's actually picturing a much different plane than the one that we have here. And I think 21st Century Toys has been known to have different pictured planes on the front of the boxes. But let's go ahead and take a look at the back. So on the back we get a nice little history of the real life plane and then we also can see the other products uh, in the line. There's a closer look at the other planes that we have here. So we got two helicopters and two planes um, and then we have all the other different pilots that you can get. And then of course there is the history behind that. Pause the video if you'd like to read it. The one thing that I can't get over with is the fact that they have this plane on, pictured on the back of the box. Uh, to whereas on the uh, top and sides they have pictures of a totally different colored plane on there so <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on over there but uh, let's get this thing out of the box. Now I will go ahead and say that prior to purchasing this uh, P47 I did actually once believe that it was uh, new in the box and upon further receiving it I found out that it was indeed not new in the box. Um, I did some more research and I asked some buddies and everything seems to be there apart from one piece. But for the fun of it, and hey, you actually got to see the real box. Uh, let's just go ahead and take this thing out of it. So, and uh, yes, I will be keeping the box because, I mean, I think the parties fell off because you know, with the box, it becomes more valuable, and uh, you know, it's cool to have something to. Uh, put the plane back into, say, if I move or whatever, so. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pilot figure that came with the P-47. Really nice detail all the way around. He's even got a little parachute back here. I have a feeling I might have to remove this parachute just to be able to fit the figure inside. I do have other uh, 21st Century Toys planes, so. I have found that, you know, with the parachute, it is kind of difficult to get the figures in there, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. And you do want to be careful when moving these joints around because, you know, the plastic obviously is pretty old and there's a high chance that it could snap. So I'm going to be fairly careful with the figure, but pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, bomb that came with the plane here. Just her average bomb. And I'll show you where it goes um, once we get the whole plane out. And then to the left, we have two, I believe these are rocket pods. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I believe that's what they are. They got some weathering on them, so that's really nice to see. And then the one thing that I said was missing in here was the drop tank. That's right, would have gone right there. I do have an example of a drop tank. There's a good example of a drop tank. This actually came from a uh, 21st Century Toys BF-109 Messerschmitt plane. Um, but just so you guys can get a good example of what a drop tank looks like if you're not exactly sure. So that's all the accessories that the plane originally came with. Let's go ahead and take the fuselage, the wings, and the back tail pieces out of the packaging and go ahead and assemble this thing. So that is all the pieces out of the packaging. Now briefly I'd like to mention that I actually found a baggie on the bottom of the box or the packaging uh, that has some parts or accessories that do belong to the pilot. So look at that. So we get even more accessories. That's always good. I didn't really think to look around for more uh, accessories possibly that would be on the bottom of the box, but sure enough, found some. So we got the uh, mask that would go like that. So look at that, adds more realism. Uh, he's got his knife and uh, handgun so that you can attach to the figure. Pretty cool. All right, so the assembly process is fairly simple on this plane. Let's go ahead and take the fuselage and go ahead and attach uh, the correct wing, which would be this one right here. And basically what you want to do is you just want to slide uh, this piece into that slit over there. And it should go ahead and snap into place. If I put this in carefully, yep. Just like that. So you got to give a little bit of force for it to snap in place, but... We are good. So let's go ahead and do the same on the other side. And for the tail pieces, you go ahead and do the same so you find the right piece. 
and it should just you have to line up the hole with the peg that's back here carefully so you don't snap it um, but it should line up and just slide and paste there yep just like that perfect all right let's go ahead and open up the landing gear so you can see how that works so there's a flap right here that should come open like that and then all you have to do is move the the wheel carefully up into the locking position there's actually a pin in there that's spring loaded if you can see that and it just swings up to catch the wing or the uh, the wheel and if you want to close it you just have to move this pin get it free and then shut it like that so pretty cool little uh, feature we'll do the same for the other side And for the rear landing gear, we just have to open up these two flaps. And uh, the landing gear should pop up like that. Yep. Pretty simple. And that just leaves the two rocket pods as well as the drop tank or bomb. But in this case, we just have the bomb. So now when you're putting the rocket pods on the wing here, you just want to make sure you line up the bigger peg with the bigger hole and the smaller peg with the smaller hole there. So let's go ahead and do that. It should snap right into place there. Uh, I think I've got it on there. It's kind of loose, surprisingly. I thought they were just gonna slide in or, or just lock into place, um, but it seems to not be as simple as that. You do have to kind of wiggle it around and kind of give it a little bit of force to uh, get in there, but uh, it's gonna do the same to the other side. So there we go on the other side, nicely fitted. And uh, let's go and take the bomb and line it up with this slit right there. And it should snap into place. Now uh, you can also put, uh, let's see here. Yep. You can also put the drop tank if you wish, if you uh, buy a brand new. Um, at least I thought the drop tank would have came with it, but. <laughs> You can put the drop tank or you can put the bomb, but I think the bomb looks much more cooler. So there it is, fully assembled, and I just have to say this is probably the most beautiful plane that I have in my collection currently. Starting with the front of the plane, we can see some really nice engine detail that 21st Century Toys implemented into this plane. The propeller does spin. On the side here, we have some pretty cool nose art. We also have this pretty cool checkered coloring it seems to be consistent from the front and rear of the plane. And we also have some cool detail on there. U.S. Army P-47D fuel this aircraft with octane 100 fuel only suitable for aromatics. Very nice. The top piece should slide back. We get a very nice view of the cockpit and where the pilot sits back armored plating this was a heavily armored uh, plane fairly survivable I was able to fit the pilot uh, in his seat fairly well it looks great let's close that for now you can also move both the flaps and ailerons on both wings just barely just a smidge the rudder does move side to side and the elevators are also uh, movable. These move a lot more freely than uh, the flaps and ailerons. And here's a better look at the underside of the plane. There we have the 2003 21st Century Toys logo. So overall, a very nicely detailed plane model by 21st Century Toys. It's kind of hard to believe that these were first originally sold as toys and are now considered as models selling for $20 or $40 back in Walmart to whereas now selling on eBay for hundreds of dollars. But if you can still find one, I would definitely pick one up. Now, 21st Century Toys did make a few different versions of the same plane, and I know that there still are, are quite a few of these planes selling on eBay currently. So if you're really interested in this plane, I would definitely go ahead and search up eBay uh, for this plane and maybe you can find one for a good deal 
Um, sometimes they sell used or in the box. I was able to find mine with the box, but used, I guess. <laughs> I hope to keep on releasing videos weekly, so make sure you stick around and stay tuned for the next uh, upcoming videos. And also, if you're new here, definitely check out my past videos because I made a bunch of review and unboxing videos uh, that are all scattered throughout my channel. So make sure to check it out. And yeah, so have a great one, guys.